guys, what's up? It's Apple Critics from AppleCritics.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the iPad OS 13 and giving you a full walkthrough and hands on on the major features. Now, this will build the anticipation for the actual release in September. And currently, I'm just using the public beta for the iPad OS 13. Uh, so, yes, it's now called the iPad OS 13 and it's no longer called iOS since the iPad basically has its own OS. And there's a lot of notable new features in this new update. Uh, so, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this video started. Uh, so, to start off, you're going to notice that the home screen is a lot different. So you're going to see that you have a widget right on the left here. Uh, so that's new and there's no more uh, spotlight search. So this is just one page. Uh, and if you want to do a spotlight search, you just simply uh, swipe down and then you'll see uh, your Siri suggestions just like normal. And then you have some other uh, Twitter uh, notification as well. Uh, but once again, there's no spotlight page. So the home page is basically the last page of your device. And then once again, you can still scroll over to the right to see your apps. Uh, but for the most part, that is what's new. And what we can do with these widgets is actually scroll through them and you can see all the news and all the information. And then if we want to, you can just simply press on the edit button. And once you press on edit, we can choose to have that view or choose not to. And then we can choose the arrangements of the widgets. So we have the batteries, the up next, we have the Siri app suggestions, the news, the weather, map destinations, and more. And then you can also add some widgets based on the apps you have installed. And you simply just hit the plus button. So let's say, for example, files, and then you'll see it'll be there. Then you can uh, change the position of it by using the uh, three lines right there. Uh, so that's all you have to do. And then you can hit done. And then you can see what it has to offer right there. So you'll see the new widget. Now, the main feature that will draw all the attraction is the actual dark mode that's now in iPad OS 13. Uh, so if you go into settings, you're going to see that the settings is now dark and you can see it looks a lot better and it's a lot easier on the eyes. Uh, so to go into dark mode, all you have to do is go into display and brightness. And then you're going to see that we have light and dark. Then you can change it back to light. And you're gonna see it's gonna be back to normal and it'll be pretty bright once you uh, adjust it. Uh, so you can see this is what the home screen looks like now. So it looks uh, pretty good overall. Uh, but what we can do is actually go back to dark mode and then we can choose to make dark mode automatic. Uh, so you could turn that on. And then we have some more options for it. So from sunset to sunrise uh, is when it'll be in the regular light mode. And then once it's after those times, so in the night, then it will be in dark mode. Or you can have a custom schedule right here as well. So that's really good. And uh, it's just a nice uh, feature that you can actually have a custom schedule for dark mode. Uh, so you can choose to turn that off. And then you can choose how long you want it light until. Uh, so you can see you can have it light until uh, 10 p.m. or 9 p.m. or you can just change around the times right here. Uh, so that's really good. With iPad OS 13, it actually brings computer functionality to the iPad. So in order to connect external devices, you have to have the USB-C to USB-A adapter uh, right here. Uh, it's only 10 bucks. And once you have it, all you have to do is just simply plug it into the iPad. And now once it's connected, what we can do is take a USB uh, from my computer mouse, for example, and then just plug it in. So you can see that the USB is plugged in from the mouse. And then here we have my computer mouse. So now what we can do is go into settings. And then once you're in settings, what we're gonna do is tap on accessibility. Then we're gonna tap on touch. And then once you do that, we're gonna choose to tap on assistive touch. Then we're gonna turn assistive touch on. And then once you turn it on, we're gonna tap on pointing devices, and then we're gonna choose USB receiver. So now the mouse will start working, so you can see we can scroll around. Then we can also perform the gestures of the home button just by uh, swiping up, and now we can go to the next page, uh, and then we can go to another page. And now what we can do is go into the internet, uh, so you can see that it is working. And we can also scroll if we need to. Now what we can do is actually go back on into settings. Now under USB receiver, you can see that you have button one, button two, button three. Uh, so under button one, you can see you have all these options that you can uh, attach to the USB receiver, so the mouse. Now you can also connect a USB to your iPad in iPad OS, so that's really, really cool. You just have to use the same USB-C to USB-A, and then you have the USB drive right here. So now what we can do once you have a USB connected uh, is go into the File Manager app uh, right here. And once you go into it, what we can do is take a look at some of the files. So I just have to choose my USB. 
So now what we can do is choose any of these files. So let's say for example, uh, this one. Uh, so we could look at these PDF files just like on our uh, Mac and it works very well. So uh, you can see it looks really good on the iPad and especially on iPad OS. And you can also uh, put music on your USB drive. You can also watch movies from your USB drive as well. So this is very useful. And basically you can connect anything with a USB to your iPad now, just like a regular Mac. So a device that you can plug in is a camera and you can just offload all your images as well. So uh, it's just really good uh, that Apple opened up the iPad in iPad OS. Now a new and improved feature would have to be the multitasking in the iPad OS. Uh, so let's say for example, we're in Safari and then what we want to do is slide up so that we see the dock. And then what we can do is open, let's say for example, uh, Apple Music. And then we just drag it into the right corner. And then you'll see a little window for Apple Music and then we choose what song to play. And then we can also make it bigger by just tapping on this right here. And then we move it on over to the right. And now I can see that it's a more split screen view so we could see some more songs uh, and it's really cool. So if you do this for any app, so say for example, we wanna see our notes as well while we're in Safari or we wanna see YouTube while we're in Safari, we can do that as well. Uh, so it's just really simple in that way. So multitasking got a nice upgrade. Now, another thing that we can do is have two panes of the same app. So what we can do is go into Safari. So now what we can also do is just swipe from the bottom and then we can see we have Safari right here as well, so we can uh, alternate between the two. So another great feature involves two panes of the same app. Uh, so if we go into the notes, so now what we can do is have two panes of the same uh, note, so we can just let go. And now you can see that we have uh, one note on the left, And then we have another one on the other side. So you can see that you have two sides to the note. So it's just that simple. And to do this feature, all you have to do is simply drag on the note that you want over in the other side. So you just drag on the title and then put it on this right side. So it's just that simple. Now the Apple Pencil got a lot of great improvements in iPad OS 13. Uh, so first off, it's much faster and very responsive. There's no delay. Uh, it went from 20 milliseconds uh, to nine milliseconds. So it got an increase in responsiveness, which is really good. And another great part about the Apple Pencil is now they can screenshot from the bottom left and now it'll take a screenshot just like that. And you'll see that you have all the options right at the bottom here and you can move it around to the top. Uh, so that's really good. So it's really easy to screenshot. Uh, so you just save to photos and you can just screenshot from the bottom left by swiping just like that. Or you can screenshot from the bottom right, just like that. So it's just really easy in that way. So if we go into the internet and we take a screenshot, you'll see that we have the option for the screen or the full page. So we can screenshot the full page if we want. So that's really good. So we could just hit done. And we'll actually screenshot as a PDF and then we can actually save it to our files. So that's a really nice and useful feature. Now we can hide the toolbar by tapping on that A right here and then pressing hide toolbar. And now you'll get that full immersive view uh, of any website that you're on. And then we can just tap and then we can press on it again and then we'll get the toolbar back. Now, another great feature is that it will always uh, have the desktop mode now. Uh, so we don't always have to have that mobile website on the iPad anymore. So we'll automatically default to the desktop website. And then if you wanna change that, you just press on that A again, then you just request the mobile website. So it's just nice that it defaults to desktop, especially on the bigger uh, screen of the iPad. It just makes more sense. Now, what we can do is download uh, any file from the internet onto our iPad. So if we download some content, so if you press convert, and then it's going to ask us if you want to download it. So it's one of my old videos. So if we tap on that download icon right here and we turn our attention right there, that is the actual Safari download manager, which is a new feature in iPad OS 13. So that will allow us to download uh, movies, music, uh, any uh, 
content that could be downloaded uh, will be downloaded to the Safari Download Manager. Uh, so it will just be able to download any file from the internet and it's built into the iPad OS 13. Uh, so that's really good. So what we can do is actually press on it. And then what we can do is tap on the share button. And then we have the option to airdrop it, message it, uh, mail it, put it in our notes uh, and copy it and much more. So now what we can do is go ahead and press on play. So now what we can do is just press pause. So uh, it was a video from the internet that was converted to audio and it was one of my uh, videos that I just uploaded. So you can see that it does work with Safari Download Manager most importantly. Now a new feature in iPadOS 13 would be if you go into Notes. And then if you want to type something, what you can actually do is make the keyboard smaller just by pinching in. So now you can see it's the iPhone size keyboard right here. Uh, so you can go ahead and type anything. And you can see you actually do have that swipe keyboard now. So now you can see that that's the iPhone keyboard there. And if you're used to it, uh, you'll be able to type a lot faster. So that's really good that they have it. Now there is a new volume graphic. When you turn up the volume, you'll see it'll be right there. Uh, so that's really good. And they can control the volume uh, from there once you have it like that. So uh, that's a nice new feature. Now you can use the iPad as an external display uh, in Mac OS Catalina. Uh, so it currently doesn't work with the beta, but it will in the near future. Uh, so it's nice to have another external display. And especially as your iPad, that's definitely a unique feature. Now you can move the pencil tools around in notes. That's a nice new feature. So you can move it anywhere uh, in the notes. So that's, a de so that's definitely a nice useful feature. So that is the iPad OS 13. So all the animations are fast. They're just a general speed upgrade overall. And I highly recommend giving it a try. Uh, so thanks for watching this video on the iPad OS 13 full walkthrough and top features. Please be sure to subscribe, like this video, please smash the like button down below so know you watch. Also be sure to check out all the other videos on my channel. Be sure to check out applecritics.com for these Apple news views and more. Like my Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash applecritics and follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash applecritics. And thanks for watching.